Okay, here we go in the pedestrian zone of Trier. The Porta Nigra, the Roman town gate in the distance. Here. Uh, very historic houses from the Middle Ages. It says 1602 in the middle, 1605. The left one and the right one is probably something like 16 something as well. They have recently been redone, I guess, because it's all new. Probably some of the oldest houses in town. Very, very nice. That's almost Shakespearean, Tudor style. Yeah. So this is the central square of Trier. Main market, it says. So we've got a couple of houses which are very nice, very scenic, very beautiful. Apparently, there's a market uh, every once in a while. Somebody like a poet. Yeah, those. Um, some of those are middle aged. Middle ages. There's a column commemorating some victory. As you can see today, we've got some sunshine, very nice. The oldest dispensary or drugstore in Germany, 1241, since the dark Middle Ages. Impressive. I think that's the most beautiful square and area in this city. Uh, lots of different styles of houses, different eras. Uh, and we've got 
got a little chapel here. As we know, there are lots of Turkish people in Germany. That's why there are lots of kebab places. Okay, so this is uh, the birthplace of Dr. Matthias Eberhardt and he used to be Bishop of Trier because it's also a bishop um, a diocese of the church. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the famous lint Swiss chocolates and the house itself dates from 1767. That's probably the gothic style. And they sell German strawberries 350 per half kilo and asparagus. Euros. Yeah, that used to be the city hall, and there's also a restaurant. That's the old city hall. It's probably not anymore because a city of this size needs more than this. It does historic. Ah, uh, historic room where they still do marriages or other things. The real city hall is probably where the tower is. Hmm. Yeah, very nice main square. Lots of different styles of houses from different periods or eras. And there's a historic dome. We're going to see that later on.